ever wonder how the Bill of Rights impacts your life? Many might not realize, but this isn't just a historical document. It's a living, breathing guide that subtly shapes our society. Born in 1791, the Bill of Rights is the backbone of our democracy, safeguarding individual liberties and putting a check on government power. It embodies the spirit of freedom, equality, and justice. It stands firmly on our nation's foundational values, our basic human rights. Although it might seem abstract, once we decode it, we can see its profound influence, societal constructs, rights, and freedoms. Imagine a world without the Bill of Rights. Basic liberties would be in jeopardy. So, let's dive in and decode the Bill of Rights. The First Amendment. It's all about the freedom of expression. It's not just the ability to voice your opinions. It also means freedom to practice your religion, press's right to report truth, your right to peacefully protest, and your right to petition the government. Imagine a world where you were censored, faith dictated, news filtered, gatherings disbanded, and petitions ignored. That's a world without the First Amendment. These freedoms are crucial for a democracy. They encourage dialogue, dissent, and diversity. They ensure our liberty to challenge norms and seek change. The First Amendment ensures that we can say what's on our minds without fear of government retribution. The Second Amendment. It's a hot topic, our right to bear arms. Originated during a time of militia service necessity, its interpretation has transformed over centuries. Now in the 21st century, the shift is dramatic. The debate rages with questions about its implications for individuals and society. A key point is the 2008 Supreme Court case, District of Columbia v. Heller, which affirmed the right to possess firearms outside of military service. The Second Amendment is a cornerstone of our personal liberties, but it's also one of the most debated. Amendments 3 to 5, they protect your personal space, your property, and your rights in the legal system. The Third Amendment ensures your home is your sanctuary, free from military intrusion. The Fourth Amendment guards privacy, protecting against unreasonable searches and seizures without a warrant. The Fifth Amendment is a legal protection powerhouse, guaranteeing rights including protection against self-incrimination and preserving property rights with due process. Collectively, the Third to Fifth Amendments maintain the sanctity of your personal space, your belongings and legal rights. They're pivotal to our freedom. The Fourth Amendment, for instance, protects us from unreasonable searches and seizures, a pivotal defense against intrusive government actions. Amendments 6 to 8. These amendments guarantee fair treatment in the legal system. The Sixth Amendment ensures a fair and speedy trial by an impartial jury with the right to defense counsel. The infamous O.J. Simpson trial is an example of this. The Seventh Amendment guarantees a jury trial in civil cases, evident in the Aaron Brokovich case against a polluting corporation. Lastly, the Eighth Amendment prohibits cruel and unusual punishment, sparking debates over controversial methods like lethal injections. These amendments are the backbone of our legal system, ensuring justice, not vengeance or retribution. These amendments ensure that justice is not just for the privileged, but for all. Amendments 9 and 10, they're about the power of the people and the states. Briefly, the Ninth Amendment implies that rights not explicitly mentioned in the Constitution still belong to the people. Imagine a buffet, just because a dish isn't listed, doesn't mean it's not available. The Tenth Amendment is about balancing power between the federal government and the states. Think of it like a seesaw. Preventing total dominance by either side, these amendments though not often highlighted, are essential, reminding us of the people's ultimate power and the state's retained rights.
These amendments remind us that the power of the government comes from the people and that the states retain rights not specifically granted to the federal government. Now that we've decoded the Bill of Rights, what do you think? We journeyed through the 10 amendments from freedom of expression, the power of the people. These centuries old laws still resonate today, guiding us through modern complexities. But these words aren't set in stone. They're open to interpretation. Explore these amendments, ponder their meanings, question their implications, start a discussion, share thoughts and listen. Engage in conversations about these fundamental rights. Understanding the Bill of Rights is a step towards understanding our rights and responsibilities as citizens. So dive deeper, question more, and engage in the conversation. Your voice matters.